The World Calendar is a proposed reform of the Gregorian calendar created by Elizabeth Achelis of Brooklyn, New York in 1930. Features <laughs> 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 The world calendar is a 12-month, perennial calendar with equal quarters, each quarter begins on Sunday and ends on Saturday. The quarters are equal, each has exactly 91 days, 13 weeks or 3 months. The 3 months have 31, 30, 30 days respectively. Each quarter begins with the 31-day months of January, April, July, or October. The world calendar also has the following two additional days to maintain the same New Year days as the Gregorian calendar. World's Day the last day of the year following Saturday 30 December. This additional day is dated W and named World's Day, a year-end world holiday. It is followed by Sunday 1 January in the new year. Leap Year Day This day is similarly added at the end of the second quarter in leap years. It is also dated W and named Leap Year Day. It is followed by Sunday 1 July within the same year. The world calendar treats World's Day and Leap Year Day as a 24-hour waiting period before resuming the calendar again. These off-calendar days, also known as intercalary days, are not assigned weekday designations. They are intended to be treated as holidays. Because any three-month sequence repeats with the same arrangement of days, the world calendar can be expressed concisely. Topic. Background and history The world calendar has its roots in the proposed calendar of the abbot Marco Mastrofini, a proposal to reform the Gregorian calendar year so that it would always begin on Sunday 1 January, and would contain equal quarters of 91 days each. The 365th day of the solar cycle would be a year-end, intercalary, and optionally holiday. In leap years, a second, intercalary day, follows Saturday 30 June. Elizabeth Achelis founded the World Calendar Association in 1930 with the goal of worldwide adoption of the World Calendar. It functioned for most of the next 25 years as the World Calendar Association, Inc. Throughout the 1930s, support for the concept grew in the League of Nations, the precursor of the United Nations. Achelis started the Journal of Calendar Reform in 1931, publishing it for 25 years, and wrote five books on the calendar concept. Following World War II, Achelis solicited worldwide support for the world calendar. As the movement gained international appeal with legislation introduced in the United States Congress, awaiting international decisions, Achelis accepted advice that the United Nations was the proper body to act on calendar reform. At the United Nations in 1955, the United States significantly delayed universal adoption by withholding support. Unless such a reform were favored by a substantial majority of the citizens of the United States acting through their representatives in the Congress of the United States. Also, Achelis wrote in 1955, JCR Vol. 25, page 169. While affiliates and committees have over the years and still are able to approach all branches of their governments, the Incorporated International Association was prevented from seeking legislation in the United States lest it lose its tax exempt status. Because of this I have been prevented from doing in my own country that which I have been urging all other affiliates to do in theirs." By 1956, she dissolved the World Calendar Association, Inc. It continued as the International World Calendar Association through the rest of the century with several directors including Molly E. Kalkstein, who is related to Achelis, and who provided the association's first official website during her 2000–2004 tenure. The association reorganized in 2005 as the World Calendar Association, International. It is currently active with resumed efforts towards adoption of the World Calendar in 2017 or 2023. The World Calendar Association's current director is Wayne Edward Richardson of Ellenwood, Kansas. Reception Topic. Benefits As with other calendar reform proposals, supporters point out several benefits to the world calendar over the current Gregorian calendar. Proponents refer to its simple structure. Each day is assigned an exact, repetitive date relative to week and month. Quarterly statistics are easier to compare, since the four quarters are the same length each year. Economic savings occur from less need to print calendars because only the year number changes. Work and school schedules do not need to unnecessarily reinvent themselves, at great expense, year after year. 
The world calendar can be memorized by anyone and used similarly to a clock. Because the world calendar is perpetual, there is no need to churn out copies of it every year. Dates in the world calendar occur with no more than two days difference from Gregorian calendar dates. Topic. Religious objections The main opponents of the world calendar in the 20th century were leaders of religions that worship according to a seven-day cycle. For Jews, Christians and Muslims, particular days of worship are ancient and fundamental elements of their faith. Jews observe Saturday as Shabbat, on the basis of the Decalogue's injunction to "...remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy." Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Christians worship on Sunday, the Lord's Day, on which they believe Christ rose from the dead. Muslims perform the Jumu'ah prayer in mosques on Fridays, the day they believe Adam was created. Likewise, Seventh-day Adventists are required to worship every Saturday. Adherents of these religions object that intercalary days are counted outside the usual seven-day week and disrupt the traditional weekly cycle. A week with a world's day would be eight days long. Adherents of these religions insist that they would have to continue observing their holidays every seventh day, causing the worship days to drift by one day each year, two on a leap year, relative to the world calendar week. The day of rest would then no longer coincide with the weekend. These concerns played a role in the United States government's decision at the United Nations in 1955 not to recommend further study. Supporters of the world calendar do not deny that their system is at odds with the traditions of a significant portion of the world's population, but argue that world's days and leap year days can be treated as double holidays by those who wish to maintain the seven-day week sequence. Topic ISO 8601. The world calendar, unlike some other proposals, is not compatible with the international standard ISO 8601, which is based upon, but differs from, the Gregorian calendar. They differ regarding the first weekday of the week Sunday vs. Monday, and ISO 8601 does not support intercalary dates e.g. in notation. The world calendar, however, modifies the Gregorian calendar less than other calendar reform proposals to achieve the sought after improvements of a simpler and perpetual calendar. Topic. See also Calendar reform List of calendars Perennial calendar International fixed calendar, another calendar reform proposed before the world calendar World season calendar, proposed by Isaac Asimov in 1973 and almost identical to the world calendar Hank Henry Permanent Calendar, another perennial calendar, but with a seven-day cycle that avoids the religious opposition to the world calendar Holocene calendar a reform in year numbering